as an international educator and business coach, I get to meet so many amazing people every day, whether they're connecting with me on social media or they call me, internet, in person, all these different um, amazing opportunities to meet people. And so that just leads to more and more projects and opportunities all the time, which is, which is just amazing because I love connecting with people. Um, so one of the new th newest things that I'm working on right now, actually I'm designing a new webinar series that is going to be coming out very soon. And I've also started collaborating with some other coaches to offer some very specific tailored training and coaching programs. So I have a lot of different things going on. In addition to that, into my busy schedule of traveling around and teaching and training, um, I actually have partnered with Kevin Harrington, the original shark of Shark Tank, and the, um, the originator of inventor of As Seen on TV commercials. So he is an amazing, amazing man. And we have partnered up for a book, and we have a book coming out. And I just met with him in California a few weeks ago, and he and his team. And I've been working for most of this last year, actually, on my piece of the project in writing that. And I'm very, very excited. I'm actually releasing a lot of new information about me as a young entrepreneur and as in my journey in entrepreneurship and different things that I've learned along the way and the tools that I've used to help other people. I'm releasing a lot of new stories for the first time ever. Kevin is at a different place in his career where he literally is doing all kinds of projects to help entrepreneurs and to collaborate with other um, high achieving business professionals in their field globally. So we partnered up as a way to not only offer really great tools and tips to help other people in their life journey and in their professional journey, but also, honestly, he's actually mentoring me through this project. So I am honored to be, a, to be working with him and his team and learning so much about business and about how I can be a better business coach and a better trainer with the skills that he's already mastered along the way. And so it's, it's this interesting, very unique project of me learning from him in the process of writing a book um, that both of us are using as tools to help other people at the same time. So it's very, um, very honoring in that way. I feel like my education, my self-improvement, and my journey has increased exponentially in this last year alone, in the last couple of years, um, not only through working with, with Kevin, but just through the whole journey on how to be a better, better coach, an even better coach, which is something that I truly believe in. I didn't just receive a certification and then my learning and my journey stops. I actually am very passionate about continuing on in my own personal and professional development. And working with Kevin has been a very unique opportunity for, for me to continue in my journey as well. So one of the things I teach is about vision. So of course, I'm very big on vision. Anyone that knows me knows that I'm very passionate about having a crystal clear vision. So as an entrepreneur myself and as a business coach, um, I am an international educator and business coach, so I truly have a vision for helping entrepreneurs globally. So I will continue to be very strategic with the, the projects, the programs, the collaboration that takes place globally in order to really help people become the best versions of themselves that they can be and leaders in their community, whether they actually own a business or not, and to help people find their voice in, in the world and how that fits into the bigger global picture um, of, of how we all live throughout. So economic development is a huge piece of my overall bigger vision on a global scale. The book actually is a little bit more toward that zero to maybe eight year entrepreneur. Uh, the, the focus of the pieces that I, that I wrote, Kevin then has um, different tools that he focuses on for different chapters. Um, but I really wanted to focus on the, some of the individual leadership pieces because in my coaching, I am very passionate about people understanding the essence of who they are and the individual tools that they have literally in their internal toolbox that, um, that make them very unique and qualified in their industry and in their business. So in, in the book, 
I actually talk a lot about my own journey and the own, my own skills and tools that I developed along the way um, as, as a way of helping people kind of identify maybe some, some gaps in their own life or in their, that they would want to achieve, but then also give them that understanding of literally, if I, if I can do it, you know, you can do it. So for instance, one of the stories that I talk about in my book is um, going to the people and how do you go to reach the people and not expecting the people to come to you and the mindset that, um, that entrepreneurs need to have in order to make the, the right decisions in moving forward with their strategies in that way. And of course, we live in a very um, social media driven world. And so it's taking kind of some of that, that old marketing and that old thinking with how do you actually reach people in this new age that we're in digitally as well. So I actually tell a very personal story from when I was a very l young girl and um, how my mind began to shift from a very, very early age with how I learned to go to the people. And so I have a couple of different, very unique stories that I'm telling for the first time in order to really illustrate very basic skills that actually entrepreneurs really struggle with. I have had an extreme growth year. Um, my, own, my own mindset, my own um, challenges in building this um, new business and the strategies that I've used in moving forward. I've had a lot of different personal things going on in my life, but I think that 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 has very real for a lot of entrepreneurs. I think that there's this fantasy that entrepreneurship is easy <laughs> and that you're on your own schedule and you can, you know, there's, there's, and I talk to a lot of entrepreneurs where this is the case. They think that um, things are, are different, you know, they, they're than what they expected them to be. And I think that a lot of our culture kind of sets entrepreneurship up to be glamorous without really diving deep into the hard work of that. So I think that my life's journey in the last year has been a really great example of all of the different things that an entrepreneur really has to juggle in that. So when I help people and I truly believe in um, the practice of, of the positive mindset and what that means to be authentic and be real and at the same time not allow all of the negativity to really um, creep into other areas of your life and how do you deal with that without sweeping it under the rug and pretending like it doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. And so I absolutely practice what I preach in that. So there's different, um, I, I pray, I meditate, I spend a lot of different time at my, with my own thoughts um, in my own journaling and, and different strategies that have worked for me in order to really stay focused and to stay grounded and to deal with the certain things that I need to deal with through growth and through real life that happens every day. Um, I, I absolutely practice what I preach every single day. And so there's different strategies that have proven many times over that um, just make all the difference in the world that once you can uh, establish those habits and those patterns in your own life, you too can see the difference of how well, how much better balanced really that you will be overall in your life and how much more equipped that you will be to deal with the next challenge. It won't be things piling up. You know, you might have a, a rough week or a rough month or maybe even a rough year, but when you are dealing with things in a healthy way and equipping yourself with the tools necessary mentally to, to move forward through those processes in a, in a positive way, you won't feel as overwhelmed because a lot of people sweep things under the rug and they, they start to feel like things are piling up on them and nothing is going right and they feel stuck. And it's a lot of the old patterns that cause that and a lot of the limiting beliefs about their own ability and moving forward through those processes. And so as a coach, I help people identify what's in their subconscious and the tools that are within themselves and help them gain the confidence that they need to bring those things to the surface so that they can not only deal with some of those limiting beliefs, but establish new um, thought patterns and new mindsets that set them in a different, direct, healthier direction to achieve the levels of success in their personal and professional lives more than they ever thought possible. There's a couple of things that I love about what I wrote in my book. One of them happens to be um, just a, really, really identifying who you are as a leader. And I think to oftentimes in the industry, you can have two businesses in the same town and 
they almost get in kind of competition with each other a little bit with when really it's our own insecurity or our own beliefs that are kind of putting our energy in the wrong direction. So I think it's really important for people to understand who they are and the fact that they have a very unique knowledge and skill set and tool set that they bring to their industry and to not focus so much on what everyone else is doing. Because you have the power and the creativity to do things very, very differently, very uniquely, and maybe even better in a different way because you understand who you are and the essence of who you are and how that translates into the business world and, and what customers see, basically. What are they seeing? What are they experience, experiencing through you just being comfortable in your own skin as an entrepreneur, as a leader in your industry? And that's something that I actually I'm, see a lot um, especially with young entrepreneurs that are trying to really kind of find their voice and find their place, their niche. The other thing is vision. I talk a lot about vision. Anybody that knows me knows that. It is so important to have a deeper understanding of why you are passionate about what, about what you're doing. It's not enough just to say, I want to make six or more figures, or I want to be on the front page of this newspaper or whatever. Everybody has a different... Um, different purpose and different things that drive them, but you really, really need to understand the bigger reason of why you even wanna be in business. If you wanna be in um, the textiles industry, why? It's not just about feeling the niche, it's what really, truly drives you and gets you out of bed in the morning, and what's your bigger vision? What's gonna sustain, um, what's gonna sustain you five years from now, 10 years from now, 30 years from now? What's your legacy gonna be? What's your bigger reason for why? And unfortunately, not enough people in business, whether you're a young entrepreneur or whether you've been in business for years, there's actually a lot of business people out there who have not done the deeper work in really understanding their bigger vision for why they do what they do every single day. Life's too short to not love what you do, and you definitely don't want all of your hard work to go to waste when it comes to retirement or you know different different life d decisions at the end and so how are you going to leave your legacy what's your bigger reason why what's your bigger vision and what's that transition that bigger plan look like for you and if you pay attention to some of the top leaders in our world today every single one of them the top most successful achieving leaders have a deeper reason why there's a much, much bigger reason to why they're doing what they're doing. And so I am trying to take that down, that concept down on the entrepreneurial level and on the business scale level and really teach people that you've got to be um, very laser focused in your overall bigger vision so that you have a more sustainable process that you're moving through because there are going to be those tough days there are going to be those tough months or those tough years and you have to have that bigger vision that sustains and drives you